The sound you hear right now is a slow breaking of hearts after Ryan Gosling fans heard some disappointing news. And surprise, surprise, Kanye West is a control freak. <laughs> Let's check in with Tony Zaza from CBS radio station 1037 KVIL for a look at what's buzzing. And, and first, what's, what's this we're hearing about Joan Rivers this morning, Tony? Well, we have some new breaking news in the Joan Rivers death investigation. What we know is that she went in for what was supposed to be a routine throat procedure that included an endoscopy. And that's when they send a tube down your throat with a camera to see what's going on. She was trying to figure out why she was continually hoarse and having sore throats. Uh, there was also speculation that there was an unauthorized biopsy done right before Joan went into cardiac arrest. Here's what we're learning now from the New York City Health Department. Their investigation, they have interviewed a number of people at the facility and who were in the room at the time, and multiple people have now said that the doctor performing the procedure took a selfie with Joan in the room moments before she went into cardiac arrest. Oh my goodness, that's tacky. That's Beyond terrible. tacky, yeah. So now they're obviously looking into other things, and he has since resigned, but, I mean, you know, 10 people tried to give Joan CPR to revive her before she was taken mm. to Mount Sinai, but this is just disturbing. Yeah, disgusting, really. Thank you so much for giving us that update. Uh, a little lighter news now as we move to other celebrities like Kanye and... <laughs> uh, what is up with him? King Kanye, is that what we should start calling no. him? Now? <laughs> no, no, <laughs> we should ridiculous. not. We had the story of him in Australia when he humiliated a couple of individuals who were disabled, telling them and demanding them to stand up, only to find out that one had a prosthetic leg and the other one was in a wheelchair. But now we're hearing more and more of his demands. Sources close to the Kardashians are saying that he obviously, we're seeing this is more than just a pattern, a control freak. And some of his demands include no one is allowed on mobile devices anywhere around him before a concert. Uh, when he's at his New York apartment, the temperature has to be kept at a certain level so that he can wear hoodies inside at all times, even in the summertime. And here's where it gets a little crazy. This even continues over into Kim's parents' home. Uh, when they're staying with Kim's mom, he requires and has to approve the maid that does that goes into their room and does their laundry and does not allow his laundry to be done with anyone else's. Keep in mind, <laughs> Kim's mom's letting them stay there while their house is being renovated. And this is the one that I'm just like, serious. Obviously, he doesn't allow Kim to have any conversations outside of professional convos with her hair and makeup people. And these are people that she actually used to talk about life with and were friends with. And now those, they're saying that there's absolutely no connection with Kim other than when they're doing her hair and makeup. Well, I can, you get, you get into a lot of gossip with your hairdresser, usually. So I can understand that last one, kind yeah, but of. What's the <laughs> secret about your laundry? That's what I'm wondering. I think he's a germaphobe. I think he's a germaphobe. <laughs> I think there's a lot going on there. He's to be got honest. he's got a lot of things going on. Ryan Gosling is a daddy. Why is that a heartbreaker? That's sweet. Uh, well, I, I think it's a shocker. If anything, yeah. him and Eva Mendez performed a miracle, keeping it from us. I mean, you know, denying, denying, denying that she was pregnant, and boom, Friday here comes the little bambina. Uh, they gave, she gave birth to a little baby girl on Friday. Still no name or vitals being released on this, but boy, did they pull one over on the paparazzi. <laughs> I love it. And then uh, Paris Hilton and her expensive dog. What's up with that? Well, I'm not going to get on my soapbox about a $13,000 dog when there are so many rescue dogs that are looking for homes. However, Paris decided to drop 13k on this mini oh. pom, and the ba and the pup is adorable. <laughs> but uh, I, there's a picture of her carrying the pom around with like a see-through handbag, and she's just got loads of hundreds being exposed to everybody. <laughs> uh, so she, you know, toted the dog around and actually went and bought the pup a uh, crib. So the little puppy has his own crib because that's her little baby she says i hope she has a security <laughs> guard for those hundies and for yeah, the puppy absolutely ooh, cute dog all right yeah. what's coming up after seven Hey, today is a Win It Wednesday. We've got tickets to go see Philip Phillips and Magic all day long, starting at 7 o'clock through 10 p.m. tonight. And when you win those, you also get a chance to meet all the bands. So it's our Poptopia next Wednesday, Southside Ballroom. We're Pop excited. Poptopia. Thank yeah. you, Zaza. Good to Have see you. Have a great day. You too. Bye, guys.